Hello, this is Merle and I'm Seyong. And as inhabitants of Kiel, the ocean plays a major part in our life. This is why we chose the topic implementing the SDGs, measuring the sustainable ocean. Our mission statement is clean ocean, clean conscience. All of us feel very honored to be a part of the Young Economic Summit. This is, this is our team, eight students from the Humboldt Schule Kiel. We are a mixture of students from the aesthetic, historical, linguistic, and science profile, which ensures a good combination of creativity, background information, and scientific facts. In the last few months, we worked side to side, developed our solution, and are very proud to present it in front of all of you today. Our approach to achieve sustainable oceans is based on the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, which got put into effect on January 1st, 2016, in the GEMBEC study. The SDGs include 17 points. Point 14 deals with life underwater in general. 14.1 says that by 2025, we have to prevent and significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds, in particular from land-based activities including marine debris and nutrient pollution. Point 14.2 says that by 2020, we have to sustainably manage and protect coastal and marine ecosystems to avoid significant adverse impacts, including strengthening their resilience and taking actions for the restoration in order to achieve healthy and productive oceans. The Jambak study from 2015 says that 13 million tons of plastic waste are getting into the ocean each year. It predicts that without any counteractions, we will have until 2025 10 times more plastic waste getting into the ocean. For 83% of the waste are 20 countries responsible, which are mostly develop developing countries and emerging markets. At the top of the ranking is China, followed by Indonesia, the Philippi Philippines, and Vietnam. But it's important to see these tons of plastic waste in relation to the population, what makes Vietnam to the country with the most wasted plastic per head. An example why these tons of plastic waste are harmful for us is the fishing industry, because especially microplastic eaten by the fish strains them until they die or is indirectly eaten by us. Our idea is to create a superordinate network with the main goal to prevent getting more plastic waste into the ocean, but also to reduce the plastic waste which is already in the ocean. By coordinating projects and elucidation, elucidation which create awareness of the ocean and the plastic waste and reduce it as well. The network is based on two main pillars. First, the soci socialization, which means funding, projects, and elucidation. And second, the, f the implementation, which includes the field teams and our employees in general. Today, a lot of projects for accomplishing a sustainable ocean already exist. The problem of those projects is their missing range. Cooperations with bigger organizations like Greenpeace, etc., misses. This is why we want to create a network which unites different corporations having the same goal of a clean and sustainable ocean. We believe that working together, or rather link up the know-how of different corporations, will be much more successful than working parallel to each other. Everyone who is able to make a contribution is welcomed in our network of the ocean. For instance, People who have innovative ideas but cannot implement them because of missing capital can easily find contact to funding corporations in our network. The goal of this network is to offer a platform and boost the dynamic of accomplishing a clean and sustainable ocean. With our network, we want to support projects like Ocean Soil, Precious Plastic, or Takataka Taka Solutions. Those three projects suit very well to our concept. Ocean Soul is a recycling company in Kenya. They collect around 400,000 uh, flip-flops a year from the coast and craft animal sculptures out of them. Dave Hackens from the Netherlands and founder of Precious Plastic designed machines for recycling plastic and make, making new products out of them. 
he has the desire of a sustainable world, and this is why we think he suits very well to our network. Takataka Solutions is a project from Nairobi with the, uh, and deals with waste management. Although this project was arising from the subject of insufficient waste economy in development, co developing countries, we aim for this kind of solution too, in order to pre prevent the waste is getting into the ocean. Furthermore, elucidation is one of our main goals. By elucidating the locates and workshops about the danger of plastic waste in the oceans, we want to prevent the waste is getting into the ocean. The locates will get to know how um, big, how, um, how big the impact of plastic waste is on the ocean and their jobs, um, the fishing industry, and the tourism. By elucidating, we want to initiate prevent the plastic pollution is getting created, and we wanted to create a public awareness. Funding. We had different ideas to finance our organization and choose microcredits. Choose microcredits, the KFW, which is a business development bank, and crowdfunding. We choose them because they are, especially the microcredits, available for everyone. And we had the idea of crowdfunding because it may help to not only elucidate the locals from developing countries or emerging markets, but also from industrial countries. Our employees will be honorable employees, and we want to cooperate with organizations like Weltwärts and Greenpeace. In addition, locals could be motivated to help because reducing the plastic waste is good for fishing industry and tourism, and so it is for the economy. Also, we want to give internships to young people who receive certificates for their work, which can be, which can be good for studentships, for example. We believe, that our we believe that our idea can make a huge difference because only together we can make a change. Vote for our network of the ocean. Clean ocean, clean conscience. the network. Um, I personally know a bit about um, yeah, uh, activism for the oceans and 
Uh, something I would recommend to you for your network for the funding side is there, that there's actually a lot of foundations uh, that are speci specifically for the oceans. So um, you, don't, um, you don't have to take a credit for, um, for funding projects, but also there's already um, foundations that would give you money when they believe into a pro in a project. So uh, the idea is to add the foundations to your funding side and uh, invite them into the network because that's a really good side of it because that's also people that really care about the oceans that have money to give. Yeah. Okay, it's just a comment or yeah, just, questions? Just a just comment. comment. Okay. More comments or questions from the audience? Just a moment. Yeah, I have one question for you. Um, could you think of a case scenario? Let's, let's uh, think you put yourself into the shoes of a person who wants to start something, who wants to initiate something. Who could, how could you help? How would he or she get through your network uh, to put the ideas into action? Okay, so basically we um, would um, take care of them and um, try to um, get known to this project and what it wants to uh, achieve and then um, take further actions to uh, communicate with big organizations like Greenpeace or uh, Vendors or uh, organizations like that um, to help this uh, person to um, uh, make this project possible and um, get the money he needs and gets the, uh, get the assistance he needs and um, so that he um, doesn't have to deal with the pro problems of uh, funding this project uh, and so on because we will take care of it. It would be very nice actually. Uh, I'm a bit skeptical that for instance Greenpeace could really help in that moment. So I mean they're also looking for money, they need to finance their own projects. So is it more than just mediating? Is it more just like it's telling somebody you need to ask another person? Um, okay, we didn't mean uh, that Greenpeace wants to fund the um, project, but rather that we um, would look for solutions um, for him to do so and um, get get him into contact with organizations like Greenpeace. Um, Greenpeace may just be one part of it. Like it doesn't need to be just Greenpeace. It would be a um, collaboration of many organizations. Um, and we are looking for the best partner for this project to um, for uh, so he can get the best help for what he needs. It's, it's a service you would offer. It's like a best match concept. I guess so. yeah? okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe I start with a comment. So, um, first of all, I think this was a very nicely presented idea. Um, and the, 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 the key of the idea, um, I find really convincing. When we talk about uh, plastic waste in the ocean, then we are really talking about the global problem. Even if the plastic enters the ocean, say, uh, in Vietnam, it will end up anywhere around the world. So it's a truly global problem. And your approach to create a um, wide network of agencies, I think is the right approach to a, uh, to a global network for global problems. So congratulations on that, uh, on that approach. And also, um, I found your presentation and the idea to include players from the local level in Schleswig Holstein over the European level to the international level with African partners uh, really convincing. So that's, um, that's very nice to directly go from local to, uh, to, to the far uh, far abroad international partners. Um, very, very nice, very useful approach. Um, I think the, the comment that, you, that we got from the floor, the first one about uh, funding, about finance, I would agree that this may be a second order problem. So um, here comes according to me one of the, um, or maybe two of the major challenges and maybe questions that we have answers to those. One is um, the question how to govern such a network. So who's setting the rules? Who's saying what are the objectives of the network and what aren't? Um, given that probably the different partners in the network may have their individual objectives. That, that's one, maybe I'll continue with that one later on. Also, 
Wisconsin? Yeah, can you use this one? That, yeah. That's good for a dialogue. Um, so the question is, who, who's going to set the, the rules of the game? Who will say what is done and how is it done? Okay, I think that would um, also be a collaboration because I don't think um, one uh, organization can uh, set the rules on its own. So uh, I always think it has to be some kind of democracy in, uh, in this network. So. Um, Every partner is um, happy with the rules. Um, I'm sure they have to be written down to um, be sure that everyone uh, is um, keeping to the rules. But uh, I don't think one person, specific person will, or organization will set the rules on its own. Yeah, you, you certainly need an agenda, I think. Um, can you repeat your mission statement? What is your mission statement? The clean ocean interventions. <coughs> For instance? Is that That's our mission statement. Yeah. Or if you meant <laughs> this, yeah, it is. Okay, and um, do you also have plans to go into the practical part? Or is it more like a, a platform that you offer, a service that you offer, that is based, let's say, here in Kiel, or in Schleswig-Holstein, or Germany, or is there also the idea to go at sight? For instance, Vietnam, you mentioned Vietnam, or Indonesia, or Brazil. Yeah, so we will have a platform or an internet site where people can discuss. But also, we want maybe have a meeting each year where your partners can connect together and discuss their ideas and help each other. So basically, it's maybe through the internet, but you can also have like a meeting uh, in Germany here. And I think we'll start off as uh, just uh, um, having a platform of the internet to support the um, organizations or the smaller projects, but we um, also want to. Um, get into the field later on um, if we um, um, are developing and uh, getting known and um, so we can finance local uh, organ uh, projects so we can go to developing countries and try to uh, reduce the marine pollution right there. Yeah, one question is, of course, where to start. So what would be your first action? Okay, so we have some transparencies for the discussion. Um, looks like this is the right one. Um, yeah. Um, do you want to comment on that? Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, I think we'll start um, just with um, connecting uh, or getting in contact with the organizations because this is of course the first step we have to do um, and as soon as this happens we um, will start off with uh, um, trying to uh, um, concentrate those uh, different organizations and uh, guide them maybe to the right projects and then start off with uh, field teams who can also elucidate um, the people uh, in the developing countries so they get, uh, uh, get aware of the problem because we have a huge problem with uh, marine pollution to uh, plastic waste. Um, and our goal is basically to, um, on, the, on one hand, to um, reduce marine pollution due to um, recycling, maybe through smaller projects like um, Christian plastic or tackle tackle solutions, um, but also to elucidate people so they know okay, it is uh, important to um, stop marine pollution so we can, uh, we don't eat fish juice fed with microplastic and other particles for our uh, part of the 
with people. Question over there, in the back. Yeah, I think the gentleman in the, in the front was first. Yeah, right, sure. ah, okay. um, I got a small question, just um, what exactly do you want to be or what, um, who found you? Do you want to be a company that therefore has to make some money and found itself or are you an NGO that gets founded by rich people or many people or are you an official um, from, from the state or from the EU or UN? What exactly do you want to be and therefore how much? money do you get because if you want to have a big server which every team all over the world is listed in you need the money to found this big server somewhere over the world on the internet so what exactly do you want to be um we're a non-profit organization um so we don't want to make money we want to have volunteers from organizations like webfans or so um and we um just want to make a break even if that's possible but not nothing at all so Yes. Okay, uh, if I got your idea right, um, then I have a question. How do you um, decide which projects um, yeah, would be worth supporting? Um, we would support projects um which want to change something about the world, so they want to... Yeah, uh, just let me interrupt you, sorry. Um, when we think about projects who want to, to uh, change the world, I can name you like 500 uh, wants money and are looking for, for some bigger, uh, bigger industry, you know? Yes, but our goal is not uh, to just put some of them, our goal is to connect them so they can work together and they are more um, efficient. So you, what you offer is more like a linkage platform yes. to uh, yes. direct the ideas in the right direction yes. to the right uh, yeah, people. Okay. Service. Yeah, that's what you yeah. offer, service. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Question over there in the back, on the other side, right-hand side. Yeah, I'd just like to make a quick comment on the question who's going to make the rules or uh, how the agenda is going to uh, get set up. Um, you talk about a website, but maybe you should do another approach like within conference, which is all half a year or once a year and there you set up your agenda and uh, there you talk about which projects you want to support and which projects you want to uh, include into your network and then also you can elect a board which set the rules for these projects which need they, uh, they need to fulfill and so those kind of things so maybe you get more particular on these points no. I think I really like the idea of um, um, link all the projects together because um, together you're always stronger. Yeah, that's my comment. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I think that's basically what we thought as well. Um, these uh, meetings would um, take care of these problems, of course. That's what they are for. Um, if we are meeting other organizations or multiple, multiple organizations at uh, one point, then this would be the themes uh, we were discussing. Uh, discussing, um, and I'm sure that would uh, we would find some criteria criteria for uh, which projects to assist and how uh, to uh, connect them all. Um, it is hard to think of it right now because we. Um, can't uh, look at 50 different projects to uh, find out what they're about and uh, how to um, uh, connect them. But I think that would be something we would look more into if we got further into the project. We have another question there. Yeah, thank you. Um, what I understand is that you want to make a global network for the oceans. Um, I wonder if there are, are already networks that could 
um, bring ideas and innovations to you so you ca could bring the networks together or because there are often already a lot of engaged people and networks so maybe you did some research on this and have some um, networks in mind that you can connect and um, also against them to, to like, so yeah. networking networks Super networking. Yeah, super network, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, we heard about some networks that um, already look into sustainable ocean or sustainable waste management and things like that. So um, it would, of course, be a good idea to um, communicate with them because uh, it may save us a lot of work. Um, we did by now. Um, Look for specific network um, networks that we would love to include in our network, but um, I'm sure we would find um, ones that suit our project. I have two questions. Um, one is, um, how do people learn about your network? And the second is, uh, during your research, did you um, talk to any NGOs? You mentioned Greenpeace several times, or the KfW, or does any one of you have a practical experience working in an NGO yourself, I don't know, collecting plastics at the beach? And so we talked to, wait, no, maybe. <laughs> and Andreas Kaiser, he's, uh, he, works in the Taka Taka solution and we talk with them um, and yeah it may be possible but we don't have any uh, so we don't work in NGOs ourselves so we don't have uh, knowledge there. And maybe how do people learn about your network and come to you, contact you? I think this would come through um, us taking care of it uh, with an, um, as soon as we start um, getting into contact with the organizations and um, talking to them, I think we will um, try to get known. So this would be lots of work, of course, but um, this would be something we have to do before starting. Um, so it would, would basically be commercial work, in a way, um, to get you know in this world of these organizations. Do you have a strategy for it already? Because it's very difficult to get known, to create awareness. What channels would you use? So one thing that we have is um, our picture here uh, in the corner. It's like uh, one thing you notice and that you remember maybe. So this is how you conscious that people see that and see, okay, I know this would never so then it was then, uh, more. Any further strategies, social media? Any ideas? Yeah, so the social media is really important, of course, uh, every time, but uh, we don't have other um, things than social media in this one. But that's one thing we uh, will do in the future, maybe. Yeah. Since we are in the, at the Young Economic Summit, maybe it's useful to apply some economic thinking on your, um, on your idea. And um, from an economic point of view, I, I think, and that's how I understood, the uh, participation in your network is voluntary. So the um, individual um, initiatives like Takataka Taka can uh, choose whether they join your network or not. And um, from an economic point of view, they will choose to join if that has a benefit for Takataka. Taka. So you need to convince them that there are benefits for, the for each individual member of the network. What would you say to Takataka? Taka? What are the tangible benefits they get from your network? Maybe. 
Um, but we probably would start with small projects to um, just start as we do. So um, we can work together to get bigger and because uh, we need somebody who joins our network and they need somebody to support them. So it would like uh, would be like CEOs or something like that. Um, and as we start to get bigger, um, more and more uh, partners will join us. Um, so I'm sure one day uh, it might be attractive for Taka Taka Solutions to join us as well. They think we're big enough and we can help them to um, get bigger and stronger. One question on the back. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Um, you said that the ultimate goal is to clean the ocean and your idea is to create a platform for other organizations. Um, and let's say you won this contest and you get 20,000 euros to fund your project. What will you use the money for? Like, what do you need to fund with the money? Okay, so my, one main part is the investigation by our field teams um, to um, um, share experiences about marine pollution and uh, our sustainable our problems connected to this sustainability um, and we of course need to um, um, we have two main parts uh, the investigation and this would be one major finance point um, so that we can um, get field teams into the developing countries and the other point would be to build up um, the website and the um, um, organize the meetings um, where all people come together and I think this is what uh, the funding would be used for. Well, it seems to me that you are facing an enormous um, <clears throat> informational challenge, uh, informing people who are totally insensitive towards polluting the ocean with plastic. You mentioned the three countries, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam and China. It came just across my mind that it would be useful to free ride on existing information channels and information networks on the risks of interactions between men and, and, and oceans. And as these countries are located at the Ring of Fire, there is an enormous information system now being built up, uh, informing people on the risks of tsunamis and how to behave in a case of emergency. Perhaps you can link up and jump free ride on these existing information schemes by bringing that information on the risk of losing the ocean as, as a source of income because of continuing polluting with plastic bags and so on the ocean. Perhaps you can free ride on these information systems, which of course are used and built up for totally different purposes, but have to do between the interactions of men and uh, oceans. I think that's great. Um, we haven't thought about the um, existing communication networks in developing countries, but um, this is for sure a very good opportunity to um, Another question? Um, thank you very much for your presentation. I think it's a very ambitious project and um, after several wo years working in a network on water where we were working on sustainable water resources management in the Mediterranean, I can tell you there is a huge amount of actors in this field. So what I it's a comment on your idea. I think um, you're risking to be yet just another organization, just the thing you would like to work on just to connect everyone. So my suggestion would be to focus a bit further on one idea. For example, what would be, what do you think about the idea of um, knowledge transfer? You know, you have these, you've mentioned these um, very well working organizations. Why should they be part of your network? Perhaps because they have already a very well working system in Nairobi and in Africa. How could you transfer their knowledge to Vietnam? This could be an idea how to get funding, how to include these very well working organizations and to help in the countries you 
would like to really work. So just a comment perhaps, it's helpful. Maybe to, to add on this, if you would need to reduce the scope of your project, what would be your preference? What is your personal uh, dearest interest? For instance, education or uh, public awareness, or is it recycling? What we would like to reduce? Or no, what would you like to keep? What, what, what would you think is the most I think valuable part? Education is the most valuable part because um, I think as long as we recycle um, the trash that's getting out there, um, we're just working against it, uh, against the population. Um, who will further produce more and more plastic waste every year. Um, and I think the only way to stop or reduce really the pollution is by um, listing people. Um, we at first thought about specific pro uh, project um, about recycling uh, plastic waste in the developed countries, but we um, stopped working on that project because we we're sure that um, without the dissertation and without um, telling the people that it's uh, poisoning their food and uh, their life uh, environment, um, that we won't have a long-term solution for um, reducing the pollution. Are you aware of any um, citizen science projects or education projects? in Germany or outside Germany? Did you contact some? Um, well, we talked to uh, the guy from Tekka Solutions mm -hmm. um, and we um, read about some specific projects that were uh, similar to something we talked about um, and uh, how they managed to um, attract the people uh, to um, work in the, uh, on the project. Um, one was, uh, I think, um, just a simple recycling um, company who took plastic waste and um, made plastic bags for uh, waste um, out of it. And um, this was very attractive for the people because um, they had problems uh, with lay, uh, waste laying in their streets and they were getting ill um, of all of the waste, um, from all of the waste. Um, and, but we haven't spoken to um, those guys. Because I really see a gap there because I'm aware of many uh, projects worldwide, citizen science projects or education projects, but they are not connected. Uh, they're not networking as far as I know, and, and this is really a gap that you could fill with, the, with your project to link them and uh, to make them communicate with each other, exchange knowledge, because they all develop their own strategies, how to communicate the problem and how to start action and so on, and this, this could be really useful, I think. That's good, yeah. Do we have more questions from the audience or comments? We have 10 minutes left. The sign is still green. Yeah, um, we, we have seen in the discussion that this is a very ambitious project and um, what, what is known for sure is that uh, you can reach also ambitious goals if you're working long enough, if your time horizon, plan, planning horizon is long enough. So uh, what is your planning horizon for your project? Um, um, I think um, we used our time by now just for uh, looking for um, the right opportunity to uh, create this network, um, to look for an option to reduce marine pollution and to um, elucidate people. Um, the further actions have not yet been taken since uh, we concentrated on the things we did until now. Um, what you have seen. Um, so I think the plan for uh, the further actions will be taken after today. So we can't tell it now. Okay, since you said that you need to grow in order to be really 
successful and can convince also the larger players, um, like the Takataka -taka solutions, then, then it needs probably not, uh, not a couple of days, n not a single window of opportunity, but it probably needs work for several years, I think, at least, maybe decades. Um, but since you're talking about sustainability, that's after all the kind of time horizon one has to think about. So I would encourage you to think about the, the long-term um, work on, on your project and also to think about where you want to finally end up. So how big want you, uh, is your, are your ambitions? Do you eventually want to be in a position where you can also convince governments to change their legislation and perhaps introduce uh, some fee on plastic bags or total ban on plastic uh, bottles? Where, where do your ambitions end? I'm, I'm not sure if our position would end anywhere. Um, I think it's a great project and uh, we could um, achieve very much with it, uh, especially with uh, the investigation. And I think investigation is a very, very long term uh, thing. So um, we don't look into getting huge benefits in the next two to three years or so, but uh, yeah, like I said, uh, in the next decades. Um, and of course, it would be the best we could achieve if we um, could talk to governments and really achieve something up there. Um, and I don't think we would love uh, like to stop anywhere. But when the oceans are uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, it's so much, uh, it's so far away, um, away from us. We just have to start first and then think about the end. So um, the end is not even start for me. So uh, sustainability is so important that we just have to start and then think about the end. The end is when oceans clean, clean and conscious. Maybe the last chance for questions from the audience or a comment. There's another one. I just came up with another question. Um, is there a limit of what uh, organization may do to stay in your network? Let's say the example of uh, the organization, organization Sea Shepherd. They are quite rough in what they do and they are I don't know if they're banned, but I think they're banned in some countries and there are politicians who quite do not like them. And I think, I don't know if you would want someone like that in your network, even though you don't, not, don't have to support them, but there could be, there might be problems with that. So, do you want to get banned, maybe in China? We talked about the rules earlier today. Um, so, I think if um, this organization would um, act against those rules we may be putting up, then um, we wouldn't like to have them in our network, for sure. Um, but we always have to look about the beneficial side, um, how beneficial is the organization for um, our network and for uh, the uh, oceans. Um, so, I'm not sure how it will, how beneficial that will be, and if we need to, how do you say? I'm not sure how you say it. Um, just to not let them part, let them part of the network, basically. Yeah. Good, yeah. Okay, last minute. I suggest, do you have a take-home message? Something you want to, the people to remember? Your, your logo. Good. Okay, then I suggest we stop here. I would like to thank you again. Thank you for your attention.